And they're off. First away for the early lead is Burn That Bridge, who comes firing out. On the inside is Color Me Best. Corey's big guy being chased away. Final Cheers leaves for position at point blank. Wrestled back from the outside. Corey's big guy under an early whip, but sprinting away to lead it is Burn That Bridge. Burn That Bridge in full stride in the early going. Stampede Hanover on the inside races in fifth. Now dropping in is at point blank sixth. Stout has come out racing in seventh. A gap of two to Ultimate Falcon. The opening quarter was hot, 26 and three. Ninth on the outside is Turbo Fired and Silk Candy at the back of the pack trails the field and Final Cheers rushing up on the outside for Roulette. It's Final Cheers brushing on to the lead with authority. Now back in second is Corey's big guy. Burn that bridge is third and here's Color Me Best. First up for LaChance attacking on the outside. Looking to use that cover is at point blank. Campbell second over again as they hit the half mile marker in 54 and 4 and Color Me Best looking to loop Final Cheers. Color Me Bass now clears to the front. Final Cheers is two lengths back in second. Losing the cover at point blank. He's now first over. Stout has a good light kick and he's floating into the action. Second over on the outside and fourth. Corey's big guy gapped on the inside is fifth. Turbo fired gapped off cover six. Burned that bridge. Shuffled back in seventh as Color Me Bass rolls past the three quarters in 121 and four. They're at the top of the stretch. It's Color Me Bass, the one to beat. Final Cheers on the inside is racing in second. At point blank trying to surge up and Stout is tipped out but he has three lengths to make up. Collar Me Best starting to tire. Stout is coming on on the outside with at point blank between them. Stout charging hard on the outside. It is Stout who's getting to the front for Moise. If Stout has won it. At point blank second. Collar Me Best third. 149 to fill. Here's Hollywood Hayden. Thank you. We're joined by Jack Boyzaev. Now a couple of Meadowlands pace runner-ups just finished one, two. And Stout, you know probably more about him than anybody. Coming into the race, uh, what was your strategy? Well, with him, you know how much of a choice you got to try to work out a trip. And uh, I was lucky enough tonight, you know, get sucked right up into the race, had a stretch, and uh, he always has a good kick of coming home. Okay, the fractions were pretty good there. 24, I'm sorry, 27 flat the third quarter. Where were you at that point as you hit the top of the stretch? Well, I was second over ahead of the stretch, uh, you know, a good half like that, and I was sitting right in the right spot, like 6th or 7th, and uh, had some live cover. And uh, like I said, he comes off a helmet, good as any other horse I ever drove. And uh, Nat Vardy's done a good job. He's been out kicked the last couple of weeks, but uh, Nat had him ready and prime for the biggie. Yeah, he said he trained good this week, and uh, he's good and fresh, and uh, tried to get his trip. He was right. And final cheers, that point blank, and color me best, you had a real scramble to the wire there. The last uh, eighth of a mile, would you have to get after him pretty good? Yeah, you know, I kept him covered up till about halfway through the stretch, and. Uh, he just, uh, when I pulled him, I knew I was going to win. He just uh, dug right in there. You remind you of his father at all, Precious Bunny, 49 and 4? Well, he just has as much speed as him, but uh, old Bunny could carry a little bit further. All right, congratulations to all the connections with Stout, who goes past a million four, winning the Taurus Romeo final for $100,000. Here's the rundown for the seventh race. Seventh race results, 